What's going on everyone? This build was the one you saw in the last video. We put it together for about 800 bucks and I used only new components because uh, yeah, some people just don't like buying used. They get a little apprehensive and I, I, I don't blame them, right? It's your money. Spend it where you think it's best spent. If you don't trust the used market, then uh, yeah, again, it's your decision. Uh, but I always try to give you an option to buy used. I always mention it or at least try to in videos like these because I feel like it, it's some some stuff is just too good to pass up, right? Like this whole build here for 800 bucks, I could have built used and it would uh, cost maybe 600 bucks, right? You're getting a decent discount. That's assuming you can get a used 1660 for a decent deal. This is kind of a new card, so you probably won't find them too cheap. But you can find better cards than the 1660 for cheaper than the, the price of a new 1660. So uh, yeah, that's the used market for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that could do to a build like this if you decide to buy, in particular, a used graphics card. Now, what do I mean by a used graphics card? Well, it had to have been in a system prior to when you bought it. It has miles, think of it like a car. It's been on the highway, it's been in the city, and uh, yeah, it's been through the ringer. That, that's the risk behind it. That's why people don't like to buy used components because they're not sure how the previous owner handled the product. Now, in the case of this card right here, an EVGA SC GTX 1080, it's a founder's PCB, comes with a backplate, some of these don't, so if you, if you want a backplate, make sure you get a picture that shows this, otherwise ask the seller directly if you're gonna buy from uh, eBay, or maybe even like used from Amazon. Uh, but this card right here stays well within safe temps. I, it was already cleaned when it was sent to me, so that was nice, I didn't have to take it apart. I don't need to replace the thermal compound because the GPU temps are in check. Uh, and it has the thermal pads as well, which is nice. So it's it's been very well maintained, uh, and I was sure to do due diligence before actually sending the seller some money so that he could send me the, the, the card. And uh, I'm very happy with this purchase. Again, about 300 bucks for this. This card new was like 400, 400, 50 bucks, I, I don't really remember, uh, but 300 is a decent discount for a card that barely even looks used. I mean, it came with the box too, so uh, you could probably repackage this and nobody would be the wiser. So the point of this video is to show you how much more performance you can get out of a used card. Now, you could find this for around 300 bucks. Yeah, it's a little more than the 1660. You could throw a 1070 to this rig and that'll cost sometimes less than a new 1660. And a 1070 is gonna blow this one out of the water. There's a big difference there. So uh, a 1080 is just another step in the right direction. If we wanted to cheap out just a little more on something else, maybe cheap out on the storage a bit, we could go with maybe a 120 gig SSD and then like a one terabyte hard drive. That would save us some cash. Uh, we could also get a cheaper case. I wouldn't recommend cheaping out a little any more on the power supply. A few of you don't like tough boards. I totally understand that. The VRM uh, power delivery on these boards is just not that great. This is a 65 watt chip though. The 2600, it just sips on power. We're not manually overclocking. It's a fine board, but we could cheap out on the board just a bit more and uh, that could be another way to save some money. Uh, but however you need to justify it in your head, on, on a balance sheet, what have you, uh, I think it's worth considering the used market. And if you can squeeze out just a bit more to get a card like a 1080, that is going to be a night and day difference between this and the 1660. And I'm gonna show you that right now. First up is again, Witcher 3. The GTX 1660 is on the left, averaging around 55 to 60 FPS. Pretty decent for a game like Witcher 3. Again, very graphically intensive. GPU utilization up top is maxed out practically. Uh, but again, on the right side, same story, right? GTX 1080 is still being uh, essentially maxed out 97, 98% but our frame rate is significantly higher, about 80 to 85 FPS on average. This is exactly what we wanna see, and for around a $70 graphics card upgrade, this is pretty good. PUBG is next, 1440p medium preset on the left. We're getting about 100 FPS. That will vary slightly, especially when we're going uh, into forests and stuff with grass, that frame rate will drop just a bit. This is PUBG we're talking about. It's gonna be uh, a little spotty here and there. It's still not very well optimized, but you can see on the right side, a noticeable improvement. The GTX 1080 is yielding around 120 to 130 FPS, and you can see now we're outside. That frame rate on the left dropped to under 100 FPS. So uh, we're still well above 100 in the GTX 1080 side, and that is definitely good news. Sorry, by the way, if this is a little confusing to look at. I just want you to pay attention to the utilizations and the frame rate. Doom in the Vulcan API is up next. Over 100 FPS, so the 1660 does very well here. The Vulcan API is uh, a very beautiful API. And then the GTX 1080 on the right is about 150 FPS or so. So a noticeable improvement. Not as much of an improvement visually just because we're already at such a high frame rate to begin with. Uh, but I do want you to notice CPU utilization is slightly higher on the right 
right side, and that is due in part to the fact that we're running at a higher frame rate. Last up here is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I had to drop the resolution to 1080p to keep us around 60 FPS for the 1660. GP utilization is still around 95%, but again, that doesn't change when we, when we throw in a GTX 1080. So technically still GPU bound in this scenario. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is still, I would say, a fairly unoptimized. It's a relatively new game, so I expect with time this will get better. Uh, but we're seeing about a 15 to 20 FPS bump between the 1660 and the 1080. Something else to notice is that our CPU utilization, all of our 12 threads, are being utilized just a bit more on the right side, and that's because we are pushing, again, more frames. And that is the story of how we upgraded an $800 PC with about a $300 used graphics card and just wrecked the 1660. Now, it's not fair to compare an 80 series card with a 60 series card, and that's basically what this is. I'm not trying to knock on this. If you wanna buy new, this is, I mean, you could probably squeeze out an RTX 2060 if you really wanted an $800 budget, but you'd be making some arguably pretty serious compromises. But if you buy used, then the whole game changes, and at that point, you can get a lot better bang for your buck, albeit with a slight risk, seeing as though you don't really know the person who you are buying the card in question from. If you ask me, the used market is the way to go. If you're gonna build anything under about a thousand USD, I think you should strongly consider the used market for especially the graphics card and maybe even the platform if you're willing to go back just a couple of generations. I wouldn't go back further than Haswell and I really wouldn't consider bulldozer or pile drivers. So the FX series AMD CPUs I would stay away from. Uh, but first gen Ryzen is still fair game in my book. The Ryzen 5 1600 is still being sold new in a few cases for around a hundred bucks, which is really good. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just my take on it. Again, this is a subjective thing. Everyone's gonna handle the used market differently. Some won't even touch it at all. And it's your money. You can do what you want with it. But if I had to build this system and I was allowed to play in the used market and I would allow myself to do that because I have before and I've had fairly good experiences throughout out, I would ditch the 1660 or even a 1660 Ti or even an RTX 2060 in favor of a used GTX 1080. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Thumbs down for the opposite. Click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Become a member if you're feeling especially fancy and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Science Studio. Thanks for watching and thanks for benchmarking with us.